But Squad, tell me where you at? Your motivation guy is back again. I'm back again, motivating you guys to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. All right, uh, mistakes, blunders, slip ups. If you're trying out Fortnite for the first time, then you're going to be making plenty of these as you familiarize yourself with the game. However, don't wait till you make them, man. With this video, you're going to make a preemptive strike that can help you skip the trial and error phase of learning so you can just start focusing more on your skill based aspects of Fortnite. So buckle up and take notes because here, and I mean like right here, are six. Six mistakes only noobs make. But before we get into the video, you better get my favorite candy. Tell them everybody, come on, what is that? It's that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. So the first mistake on this list is actually a fun one. No matter what game that you play, and whether it be Halo or GTA V, or you know, it's just always fun to really just mow down enemies with a vehicle, right? It's the kind of unexpected outcome that has you laughing, but also your enemies feeling embarrassed from being eliminated in such a way. However, if you do plan to go pro at this game, this isn't always the best way to go. You know, running over players with vehicles might seem like a good way of knocking down some health while in the safety of a car. However, it actually leaves you vulnerable in a major way that can cost you the match. All right, for starters, vehicles, while fast for getting from one location to another, aren't really great for just sudden or sharp movements. <laughs> I know, trial and error, trust me. Especially if you're trying to hit a small moving object on the screen. So if an enemy gets out of your way in time and it just leaves you exposed to just taking shots from behind or having your tires punched out, man, you're in trouble. In fact, even approaching them head on like that will immediately just alert them of your presence and leave you exposed since a player with a good aim is gonna be able to track you and just land those headshots. And so moving in a straight line in a vehicle is still not as fluid as you like when you're on foot. At least there, you could just jump or slide and strafe to make yourself a harder target. And so if you want to learn how to take down players while they are inside vehicles, then what you need to do is train your aim. Click on the link below and check out Aim Lab today to start working and becoming an aim legend. There you can check from a variety of different exercise routines tailored for you guys to really just take your aim to the next level. Once you completed that, you can also check out your stats. You can compare your improvement as time goes by. You are guaranteed to see improvement no matter what skill level that you come from. Next on this list, we have a mistake that you'll probably make when landing. So the whole point of Battle Royale is to be the last person standing out of 100 players. If you do this, you're going to be crowned the victor and in Chapter 3 even get rewarded with the victory crown that can enhance your XP gains. However, the one thing that keeps you from just camping is the storm, which is going to push players towards a certain location and towards each other. Because of this, new players have a tendency to try to land near the center of the map in hopes that they don't have to worry about getting caught in the storm. Truth is, this isn't always the case and landing in the center will actually hinder you rather than benefit you. Truth is, man, the storm doesn't always go to the center of the map, and sometimes the final storm circle can end up at the edge of the map. After you play enough matches, you're going to soon discover that good landing spots don't always mean landing center. In fact, landing in other locations can give you more eliminations and more locations to really loot as you travel towards the center of the storm circle. Rotation is important and having pit stops can really ensure that you're always coming across new opponents, interact with the vital NPCs along the way, and stumble upon mythics that might be out of the way unless you're passing through. All right, so the next tip is for everybody who is busy harvesting materials, but you know, you want to do it faster. Harvesting mats is a critical step towards doing well in a match in Fortnite. It will give you guys the materials necessary to start building, editing, and making more complex plays such as a peace control play. Without the proper equipment, you can end up eliminating before you reach that victory out, and we don't want that. However, if you're just smacking away at structures, then you should know that there is a more optimal way of doing it. After the first smack, a small circle or target should appear on the structure that you're trying to take down. This structure won't appear on cars or objects that can be destroyed with one hit. However, once you see it pop up, you should keep doing your best to hit it each time. This is what we call a weak point and hitting it repeatedly will allow you to destroy structures quicker than ever before. The reason that this is a common mistake amongst new players is because you don't always notice a circle in the heat of the moment. You might be in a hurry to harvest a rock and don't even realize you could be doing it faster. The circle is going to change position each time you successfully hit it, so being able to move your crosser over the circle each time is going to be vital towards hitting it repeatedly. This is also good for when you start box fighting and attempting peace control. So getting that wall down quickly can be the difference between placing your own wall and getting sprayed. All right, so another mistake that you're definitely going to make if you're just learning edits is not having cover before confirming the edit. Edits can be used for all sorts of strategic shots and repositioning. It can provide a great defensive barrier that allows you to also stay on the offensive. And so this mistake here, and I mean like right here, is when you're also so eager to make an edit that you forget your own position and you end up leaving an 
an opening for your opponent to land a shot on you. Alright, let's have an example. You make a right hand edit so you can just crouch behind the left and have a space to shoot on the right. However, in this scenario, you don't move for cover before doing this and you end up on the right side. You essentially gifted your opponent a window at this point. So the best way to practice for this is really to study and get used to all the angles and distances that you can make edits with. Stop making edits when just standing directly behind your build and instead, do it from an angle. This is going to give you guys the defenses you need to become a less predictable player. Put yourself in this scenario, all right? You're eager to get into action and luckily an opponent has entered your sights. You start firing and you line a few shots, but your opponent boxes themselves in. So at this point, you want to dig them out of their hiding spot. You pull out your pickaxe and you start smacking away at the wall to get closer. This is the moment that you made a mistake. So what exactly was the mistake? Good question. Well, the thing is you actually got too close to the wall without checking your opponent's position. Remember guys, depending on the material of the wall was built, like you are going to have limited visibility, meaning your opponent could just be getting ready for anything behind there. Perhaps they're waiting for the wall to come down so they can just surprise you with an attack. In other cases, the opposing player could just simply edit the box with a window suddenly or just edit a door they can exit through. Keep in mind, this is their box, right? So they have a full control of their edits. So instead, just keep an eye on your opponent within the box. If they built with wood, then you should just automatically have some visuals on them. If they built with stronger material, then consider hitting once with the pickaxe before stepping back and continuing with your SMG. Each hit should expose a bit more of their position as the wall takes damage. And so knowing the exact position of your opponent and what they're doing within the box is important for determining your next movements. All right, guys, so for our final tip, we have something that pretty much plagues everybody, especially if you're prone to go all in on a fight. All right, so let's paint a picture for you and you're going to know exactly what we mean. All right, so you spot an opponent up ahead and you want to start taking them down right away, right? You fire your first shot and it lands, but it's not the headshot that you wanted. Yeah, it happens a lot. You continue firing and despite missing a few more shots, after that, then you just want to end the fight now rather than later. So you aren't changing your position, you're only just reloading and continuing the onslaught. Meanwhile, your opponent has figured out your position. They've set up a wall and now you hear the sound of sniper bullets whizzing by you. Okay, so in the process, you get killed and your match ends. The problem here is when your brain locks into attack mode, right? And you don't want to move until the job is done. Like this is a psychological mistake common for when you're in the heat of battle. You stop focusing on everything else and you suffer from tunnel vision. So locking into a position is never good and you need to train yourself to change tactics if things stop going your way. This is a common mistake because of the way other games work. You know, usually it's the player who spots their opponent first that gets the kill, right? This isn't so much like that, right? Because there really isn't much else you can do except get out of the way so players just push until they get the elimination. However, Fortnite has so many options thanks to the building mechanic and the third person view that makes it a much more flexible game to work with. Before we wrap things up, don't forget to check out Aim Lab so you can spend less time missing shots and more time landing these perfect perfect headshots. But you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to keep your head up, stay positive, and keep going forward in your purpose because, man, there's so much for you, man. I'm telling you, keep going and do not give up. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll connect with you on the next one. Peace.